Hi everyone, my name is Maria Winter and I'll be taking you through this webinar today. So today is all about the Shortcuts Marketing Masterclass. Now I just want to check that you can all hear me. If, if you can't hear me, please just pop it in the chat box. So today we're going to go through how to prepare for Shortcuts Marketing how to create an email and SMS campaign, and how to give permission to your staff as well. The duration of this webinar will be 30 to 45 minutes. My microphone is on, but everyone else, you guys have all been muted. Um, so if you can't hear me, make sure your speakers are on. And I'll be taking all of the questions at the end of the session. Um, so please just pop them into the chat box. Okay, so what exactly is Shortcuts Marketing? So it's a really simple, easy to use SMS and text email marketing platform. It is accessible within Shortcuts Live and our cloud website. Um, so if you're using Shortcuts Fusion, which is the software that's installed onto either a laptop or computer, um, you will have the cloud feature, which is on the pos.shortcutsoftware.com website. It is a perfect solution. It's really simple to use and it's super powerful and really effective. So who is our audience? So you might have noticed in the client card that we've separated the opt-in details. So over to the right on my slide, you've got opt-in details. And what we've done is we've separated the marketing, confirmations, loyalty, and ratings and review. So this means if, say, clients don't want to receive marketing, they can still receive their SMS confirmations, which is super important. So all of our clients in Shortcuts who are opted in will receive the, the marketing campaigns. However, please note, if your clients are in the system multiple times, they will receive the email or SMS multiple times. <laughs> so it's really important to make sure you keep your data as clean as possible and up to date. So just making sure you and your team are performing a client merge, at least weekly or monthly. Um, if you're not sure on how to do a client merge, we do have a video on our learning center. Um, so if you just jump onto our website under support, you'll have our learning center and there's all these amazing videos. Um, and it's just a few steps. If you get stuck, you can always call through to our help desk as well. They'll be able to assist you. Um, if you've got a lot of data and you've had the business for years and years and years, um, you can call through to our customer care team and you can actually pay for a service called Client Cleanse. Um, and you can stipulate exactly how much you want us to clean out. So if you just want to keep the last, you know, five years of data, um, you know, clients that have only been in the last five years, so remove everyone that's not, you know, currently active, we can help you with that as well. Um, okay, so what campaigns are available? So we've got the ongoing ones. So I'll explain these ones first. Now, these are all about event driven, meaning it's triggered via your client's birthday or um, as soon as they're a new guest. If they haven't been back in a while, we've got the we miss you and time to see you again and the referral. So um, every time a client refers someone, make sure you're popping that into the client card under info because you can automatically SMS or email the client to say, thank you so much for referring this client to our salon or store. Um, here is a voucher. Um, so obviously the more new clients you get from referrals, the better it is for the business. Now you'll notice there's two new campaigns at the bottom, which is super exciting. So the no-show follow-up is amazing, especially if you do get a lot of no-shows, which can be super frustrating. So this is gonna be beneficial to you. 
as soon as you mark a client as a no-show infusion, so right click, no-show, within 40 minutes, they will receive either the SMS or email, whichever you've activated, to say, hi, Mary, um, you had an appointment with us at this time, please call to reschedule. It could literally be as simple as that. And the lucky last, which is also a new one, is our appointment acknowledgement. This is amazing. So as soon as you book someone in, um, you can trigger an SMS or email. Um, just keep in mind, if you are the type of business that updates appointments all the time, you know, when you have to shorten, lengthen, you're trying to fit people in, if, if you're likely to move things around, the client will keep receiving that update. So it's all based on when you make the appointment and when you update the appointment as well. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so the next uh, campaigns are the ones only. So this is all about blasting out an SMS or email campaign to a targeted list or um, SMS or email to everyone in your system. So we'll, we'll, I'll go through the different options. I'll be doing a demo in this session as well today. So what do you get with Shortcuts Marketing? So it's a part of your package, so it's free. Unlimited emails per month, regardless of your database size, which is amazing. So if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of clients, you can email as many times as you like. We have cost-effective SMS bundles. So if you're not on an SMS bundle, please call our customer care team um, because we have amazing bundle deals. And if you want to get into the market of SMS, then you're better to get a bundle. So you pay a fixed amount per month for, say, 200, 500, or 1,000 SMSs. And then anything over that, you'll then get charged per SMS. So depending on how many you want to send, um, you might be best to look at the bundles. And the lucky last thing is it's all in the one location. So we've popped it on our cloud. Um, and it's the same username and password for cloud and console. Okay, so moving on to the configuration side of things. So to access the cloud, you just go on to console.shortcutsoftware.com. And it will log in and open up into the cloud features. Now, you will notice there'll be a marketing icon up the top. Um, otherwise, you can go in to the general settings um, on the navigation panel to the left as well. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to prepare for the campaign. So in this example here, you will notice there's the, the business logo at the top of the email. And down the bottom, can you see the social media icons? So you just have to enter these in to console, and I'm going to show you in the next slide where to pop them, and it will automatically save every time you send an email, which is amazing. Makes it so much easier. Okay, so to configure your logo and social media links, jump on to console. Then you're going to go into site settings and you're going to update or insert your logo just like the image here and then it appears in the email marketing. To configure your social media links, it's also in site settings under console. Um, and as you can see from the picture, you just need to copy and paste the URL link um, for your website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And then this will automatically synchronize. If you leave it blank, then you will have um, no link at the bottom of the email.
Okay, so to access the cloud feature, um, it will access the marketing feature in cloud. We're going to go either into Shortcuts Console and you'll notice the Shortcuts Cloud button. Option two is to go directly into the POS.Shortcuts software website and then log in. Your login details will be the same as console or your cloud features. And you can either jump straight onto the marketing icon or general settings and then marketing, just as the screenshots um, on my slideshow here. Once you're logged in, you'll see all the campaigns. So there's nine campaigns to the left-hand side. Um, so you've got targeted, message or clients, appointment acknowledgement, happy birthday, new client, no show, referral, time to see you again and we miss you. And these can either be sent as an SMS or an email. Now it's all about customizing your campaign with the, SM, uh, the email, sorry. So with your email, it will automatically bring through the logo you've just uploaded. And below the logo tick box, you'll notice there's a display image. So you can upload your own banner. Um, the size just needs to be 600 pixels wide by 300 high. So you can put a beautiful banner that matches your branding, um, and to really customize, you know, your birthday campaign or your new client campaign to your business. The other things that you can customize are obviously the subject line and the actual body of the email. So you will notice in some of the templates, we have popped some preloaded text in for you. That's simply to get you started. Um, you can jump in, change it up to suit your business um, and to really personalize it as well. You will also notice that there is an insert field drop down. So you can insert the client's name in the subject line. You can insert the client's name in the body of the text. Um, if you're sending off a once, you know, once off campaign, you can put in upon a time and date and things like that as well, which is really cool. Okay, the most important thing is if you're going to offer a discount or an offer within the campaign, make sure you set up a new discount reason. The reason why I say this is because you want to be tracking the return on investment, so the ROI. So to set up a discount code, all you need to do is jump back into Shortcuts Fusion. Then you're going to go into Setup, Configuration, sales and discount, just like my slide has here. To create a new discount reason, all you need to do is press new, type in the description of the discount and then link it to what you're offering. So whether it's a fixed amount, a percentage off, and then all you need to do is hit save um, once you've linked it, if the discounts you know, apply to products, services or gift cards. That will then uh, synchronize to the marketing platform so you can link it to that email, which is really good. So how you link it is in the offer, you'll see that there's a discount code and you'll notice it appears here. If it doesn't appear instantly, just, just press done and refresh your browser and then go back into that campaign and you'll, you'll see it up here in the drop down. The templates also include the book now button. So if you have online booking or if you have a check-in option as well for clients, um, a lot of barbers will have the check-in option uh, that will then appear in the template. If you don't want this to appear or you don't want an offer in the email, all you need to do is press the X button to the top right. So see the screenshot? There's just a little red box where you can then exit off um, so that doesn't appear within your campaign.
Okay, so the cool thing about um, the shortcuts marketing is you can preview what it's going to look like and then you can send yourself a test. Um, so if you go towards the bottom of the setup screen when you're in creating your campaign, you'll notice a preview. So if you hit preview, you'll then see um, what it's going to look like with the logo, the image, the text, and you'll notice that it's really super simple and clean. So the actual template will be white, the text will be black, the vouch is really simple, it's just really easy for clients to read. And then towards the bottom of the, the campaign template, you will notice the unsubscribe as well. So if a client chooses to unsubscribe, that trickles back to their client card and updates. Okay, let's get into a demo. So I'm going to show you how to jump onto this platform and I'm just going to show you a few tips and tricks um, in terms of what, what to do and how to do a test and things like that. Okay, so I'll jump straight into the marketing platform. So as soon as you jump into cloud, you can click straight onto the marketing icon up the top, or you can go into menu, general settings, and then you've got the marketing icon here as well. So to the left-hand side, these are all the nine campaign options you have. So the first one is message all clients. And you'll notice you've got the SMS and email option. So with the SMS option, um, you can pop in some information here. Now, if you want to say hi with their first name, you can then pop in their first name here. Now, you will notice if you go over the characters, the character limit is 138. It will go to red and it will say that you've used two SMSs. So that just means that you just need to um, minimize what you're saying in here. So let's just say any facial treatment. So now that I'm under, it's just going to cost me one SMS. Then you can press send test and you can pop in your mobile number and then it will send you a test here. Once you've proofread it and you're happy with it, then as soon as you press send now, that will then go out directly to the clients, like right then and there. The next one over is the email option. So you'll notice the logo is ticked on, so that will come through from site settings. You can then upload a file, and then you can also edit this subject line. Um, now you can type in your own body of the text. If you would like an offer, you can press the plus sign and add an offer. So if you were going to add in, you know, like 20% off or a $10 voucher, you can add that in. And then these are all the discount reasons here that are linked with your shortcuts fusion. And then you can pop in your terms and conditions as well. Now, if you want to add the book button as well, you do have to press the plus sign. If, if you don't have online booking, then obviously you don't need it. And then you've got the check-in button as well. Down the bottom, you've got the preview option. So that will then just open up to what the actual email looks like. And then you just press send test, and then you can pop in your email and then send yourself a test. Once you've proofread it, so you want to make sure there's no obviously spelling errors, you want to make sure the social media links are going to your um, websites and Facebook pages, then you just press send now and that's going to send out immediately to all clients. If you ever get stuck, you can see the send schedule here. Um, so this is going to be sent immediately. So as soon as you got it ready, you hit send, it's going to go out straight away. The next one here is targeted campaigns. Now, you can do SMS or email. The cool thing about this is you upload a, a list from shortcuts. Um, so this is going to be amazing if you want to target clients that have just purchased a certain product or if you really want to target, you know, particular color clients, 
facial clients, um, you can generate a specific list. Now for target marketing, you do need to jump into shortcuts itself. If you have shortcuts on multiple computers, make sure you're generating the list from the main computer that shortcuts is installed on. Once you're in shortcuts, then you just go into tools and marketing. So if you've never seen this screen before, this is going to be a little bit new to you. Um, the way I like to describe it is I like to separate it into three parts. So the top part of the screen will categorize clients that have either had a service or purchased product before. The middle part of the screen will categorize clients that have not had a service and not purchased product. So an example for the first one would be, I want to market to clients that have had the service before to let them know that there is a special coming up. So I can go categories and I can choose one of these. Um, or you can choose specific services as well. So if it's facials or it's colour, um, it's just depending on what you want to target. If you want to target clients that have never tried a colour or never tried a facial, then you would choose the middle part here, so categories, and you would then choose the category. So let's just say I want to generate a client list um, for all clients that have never had a facial before. Then I press done. You can also press on range and you can generate a list just on clients that have actually been in the last year or six months. So let's just say I'm gonna target clients that have actually been in this year. Then I press compute and I press done. And then it generates this list of people here. Now all I need to do is press on exclude existing appointments because I only want to market to clients that have no future booking and I press save. Now don't just press save here because it will save in a random folder. You need to press browse and just save it either you know on your desktop or in a marketing folder, somewhere really simple and easy to find. That then saves and then all you need to do is jump on back onto your marketing platform, choose your file. So if I go onto my desktop, you can see my client list is here. And it just needs to be a TXT file. There it is now. So if I just double click that, you'll notice it comes up instantly here. Now that, as soon as you press send test, you'll get the test to proofread. And as soon as you press send now, that will go up to that targeted list of clients. Um, so if you ever want to 
watch a video on that. That's just on our website as well. Um, a lot of clients find it easy to have the video on their mobile phone whilst they're doing the steps, especially if you've never done um, target marketing before. I've just got a question here. I'll just answer it quickly. Can you target specific hairdresser clients only, not just services had. Um, so you can you can target um, employee, so clients that request a certain employee. So with target marketing, um, if you were to do that, I'll go back into here. All you need to do is jump into so tools, marketing, I'll just clear this one off and I'll show you. Okay, so the bottom part is where you can then go into it further. So you go into clients down the bottom left hand side. And you can generate a list based on their preferred employee. So as long as the employee is under the client card, then that will generate a list based on those clients that want to see that particular employee. Now, if the client has seen the same employee for more than four visits in a row, Shortcuts will automatically default that employee. Um, otherwise, you can manually update it if if they request that person and like it's only been two visits, you can do that as well. So if say the we want to generate Chris, we just select on that one, we press done, and then we just press compute. You can put a date range in as well if you just want to generate the last 12 months of Chris's clients, or just press compute, and then that will generate that list. Then you just press save and follow the same steps as before. Hope that answers your question. Okay, so that is um, targeted campaigns. Um, the next one I'm gonna go through to is our newest one, which is our appointment acknowledgement. So um, you've got SMS and you've got email option. Now the send schedule on this one is this message will be sent to clients each time their appointment is created or updated. Please note, updated as well. So as soon as you make it, within a few minutes, they'll get this SMS or email. As soon as you update the appointment, so you shorten, you lengthen, you move it, they're going to receive an email or SMS as well. Um, this one is amazing. It's just a great reminder, um, you know, to send for, you know, your address, um, if you've just recently relocated the store, this will be really useful for you. Um, and it's just a great way for clients to maybe see your branding, so you follow you on social media. If you've got online booking, you can put all those links in as well. So again, all of the all of the steps are the same. So once you write in your text, you send yourself a test, you activate. Now you will notice this one is already activated. And how you can tell is it's got the green dot next to it once it's activated. And if you want to ever deactivate these campaigns, all you need to do is hit deactivate. Really simple. The next one down is the birthday. Um, so again, you've got some preloaded text here and you would just adjust it. And you've got the email here as well. So don't forget to link it to your promo code, pop in your book now button, hit the preview, make sure you send yourself a test and then activate. When you send yourself a test, it's actually a good um, way as well to print it off or just to show your staff as well so they know exactly what's going out because when clients receive these, they'll more than likely call to say, hey, I got $20 off, I'd like to use my voucher and then at least everyone's all aware of what it is and then explain as well to the staff how to use a discount reason as well. Because the most important thing is, yes, you want to activate these, but you also want to report on return on investment as well. 
Next one is new client. Um, so as soon as the client um, comes in, um, this will be triggered out. So this message will be sent at 9 a.m. the day after their visit. So make sure you do get their mobile number and email. Um, and then whatever you set up will be triggered out based on that. No show what happens. So this is another new one of ours. So as soon as the client is marked as a no-show, they'll then receive either the SMS or the email. And again, it's just a simple message. So it could just say, hi, Mary, you have missed your appointment at the salon name. Please call us to reschedule. With the email, it can just be as simple as that as well. Okay, referral. So as soon as you put in the referral into the client card, whether they're just booking in as a new client or they're existing, just make sure you update that. So I'll just show you in the client card. So if I'm looking at referral, I would go into info and I've got referred here, and then I would choose another client. And let's just say it was Helen Hill. That will then save. So as soon as this uh, appointment has been processed, Helen Hill will then receive an email to say, thank you, Helen, for referring shortcuts to our store. Um, here is a voucher, and that's the thank you. So that's an existing client. If you're making an appointment for a new client, you would just pop them in, press new. As long as you've got this field here, the, the staff would then choose another client and then takes them into the search screen. And let's just say shortcuts was the referral. And then as soon as this new client's transactions process, then shortcuts will receive the thank you email or SMS. If referral method's not in this screen when you're entering new clients into your booking, you just need to go into setup, configuration. Over to the left, you've got general and you can actually edit those fields under clients just by going into the new client layout. So see the quick tick boxes. Whatever's ticked onto quick is the information you collect when you first take the booking. And you'll notice referral method is just here. Okay. Awesome. Um, the next one is time to see you again. So this here is triggered out to clients 9 a.m. Um, and who haven't visited in six weeks and have no future bookings. So they haven't come back. Um, and then the we miss you one here is triggered a little bit longer at 16 weeks with no future booking. So they all go out at the same time. Um, but if you ever get stuck, just read the send schedule here as well. So that's a little bit of an overview on the different campaigns there. Um, I'll just jump back to my slide show. Okay, so hopefully you found the demo um, useful. So I went through and showed you how to generate the targeted list. So just remember, it's under tools, marketing, and then you just select the clients you want to target to, press save, and make sure you save it somewhere like the desktop where it's easy to find. If you just hit save, it saves in a random folder and it's quite hard to find. The list that you want to upload is a TXT. Um, so if you ever forget that, it does say that on the marketing screen in shortcuts as well. And there is a video on targeted um, lists in our videos as well if you get stuck. So you can upload a target list for either the SMS or the email. Um, and again, just remember, say it's a once off targeted campaign and it can be easy as choosing the file and then uploading the txt file
So key points to remember, you have 138 characters in the SMS um, campaign options. Um, just remember, if you do go over that character limit, look out for the red because it will alert you. Um, and you will notice the messages used will display as two. Big tip is always make sure you um, preview the uh, email and also send a test SMS or test email. You always want to make sure you spell check it, make sure the links work, and then you're ready to activate. So how do you track the results? So as long as you've linked it to a discount for a reason, um, you will be able to track it under the cloud uh, dashboard. So the dashboard is a reporting tool. Um, and if you scroll all the way down the bottom of the dashboard in cloud, you will have the campaign ROI, just like the screenshot here. So it will have the name of the campaign, the method, how many has been sent, and also the sales that have come through from that, which is amazing. So it's really important to make sure that what you're sending is actually bringing the clients back in. Um, if you're finding it's not working and maybe you want to change the offer or the wording, the image, um, the subject line, maybe just keep um, updating it every six to 12 months just to keep it fresh and exciting for your clients as well. So I just had a question um, from Donna. Can you activate a campaign with a delayed schedule? Um, unfortunately, it's all at the, the 9 a.m. So you can't select a schedule date in particular. Okay. So to give your staff access, so if you're you want your staff to get in and help you and create these because it's super simple. All you need to do is jump into the cloud, go to general settings on the menu and hit roles. And you can see on my screenshot here, you just need to make sure that the yes is ticked on to I can configure marketing campaigns. Um, once you've given them a login, they'll be able to log in and then they'll have the marketing icon um, in their options as well. So that's everything to do with uh, Shortcuts Marketing. So now you know how to prepare for um, the Shortcuts Marketing platform. You know how to create the email, edit, create the SMS and give your staff permission. Um, I'll just check the chat box to see if there's any more questions. If you have any more questions, just pop them in now before we finish up. For the um, appointment acknowledgement email, as soon as you move the appointment, so it's, it's literally every update. Um, so as soon as you touch it, it, it will send it within three minutes. Um, so if your business is all about juggling things around and fitting people in, um, it might not be for you. But if, if you book an appointment and you're not moving things and squeezing things in, it, it should be fine. So if you missed any part of this webinar today, um, this webinar will be live um, within a few days, so we do put it up on our website so you can always go back and refer to anything that you have missed. So um, just one more question here. Um, if you activate the no-show email or um, SMS, as soon as you right-click and mark them as a no-show, within 40 minutes they will receive the SMS um, or email if you have activated it. Um, so you have to activate it first um, and make sure you've, you know, you've put your wording in. I hope that answers your questions, Karen, um, and everyone else that popped in some questions. If, if you have further questions, I've popped up our education email address here. So just email me directly under education at shortcuts.com.au um, and I'm more than happy to go through any further questions. 
If you need to rewatch this webinar, it will be live in a few um, days. So just follow us on Facebook and um, we normally will update you once it's live on there as well. But yeah, any other further questions, you can contact our customer care team or our help desk team on 1300 667 374. I hope you all enjoyed this webinar today. Um, and I will get back to you guys if you have any further questions. Thanks.